Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in this last video, we working on site in form. So let me open this. So I already started the React app, and so this is what we have done before. And we have a sign in form in when we click on sign in button. And now we need to link in to sign up button to a new form. Okay, so get back to our application. We choose usually to folder API for Node.js backend and for REST service. And apps is a React frontend app. So we have a component login. This is what we did before. This login form. So when we link in the sign up button to a new form, uh, two way to do that. So you can create a new component, get the sign up, and copy sign in button. Copy sign in component to sign up, and make a separate component. So. And also, you can we can do a same cut them same. For example, I want to do this. We have an initialize function construct constructor pop, and we should have a super, super prop. And this is state, and all right, is the login equal by default is the login equal to. So, by default, it's login to. So, and let me copy this on sign in. So, when the sign in equal true, that means you send it. we only saw two fields. But if you, so, let me link the sign up button, sign up button on click on click equal and so we have a function i want to write directly function so now when the sign up button we did the set state all right uh, either login for now we set login for to, so we can cross is the login equal zero state so, if is user is login, and we saw this password and email. Okay, so now if user if not is it login, we can do. For now, I want to say hi. Uh, and all the y we return noon and that's empty. So now we do the C. Alright, so I need to add ties button. So we wait for up refresher now. It's the sign in button. Click sign up. Now you can see the high appear. So that means we are working on sign up form so simply i would like to replace the high with the new so let's copy that copy this so we do copy that and so now is the confirm password id just replace something you know we just confirm password Confirm password ID and type password and should be name go to confirm password and placeholder equal confirm password. So now you can see we so we click sign in button and sign up. So we have a new view equal confirm password. Alright, so I want to add name before email. So the same thing I will add some conditional and if it is not login it is not login and should be written deep 
otherwise null. So let's copy that. Right. Okay. So now we have name resource. So name ID replace. It should be Zora. Your name and the ID should be name ID and to replace to type equal text and name equal name. So one again see sign sign up now we do have your name email password and confirm password. Okay, so we need to Make some conditional in the our form sign if is sign so let's see don't have an account sign up I believe we do this but let's copy this don't have an account Sign up. Up. Let's up. Button. Link. So if we didn't up sign, in. don't have an account. Up sign. In. Sign up. This sign up. Now just up button. Now we need to type some seed ads. Alright, so before sign see that I want to start sack. So CD up CD at RC C alright C D C that now search what what alright up dot add see that okay so now so we have a seed at an app. Now we can do. Sorry, should be Apple seed at. App login form. So we need to get back to app button. Up from item, up from to your rear, up from action right here. So up button and up. So this back row, none. Border, none. And color, prime color. So let's see. Okay, so we see that up button link up button oh sorry I pushed wrong scroll this class name and should be button ties and class name right here So sign in, sign up. Okay, don't have an account. Sign up. I think that could be better. Okay, so now when we are working in sign in, so we're going to change the title as well. Let's change the title. If not, it's going to login. So okay, sign in here yeah, title. So we can do this. Got title equal if is a login one line of code so be sign in or the way sign up okay and the same for sign up so let's copy that is a sign is a login so we return this and otherwise return this we 
so if it's login we have sign in button and sign up button and on all the way we should be have a sign up sign up and sign in so when the sign in we just log into two okay so now let's see it is logging sorry some right should be question mark now we see again uh i click to sign up with the sign up form all right and we missing the title and so i need to place title should be title right okay sign up <coughs> i'm sorry and sign up sign in sign up okay so so far so good now we need to add some some even to catch the form data for example user as usual we have a name by default by default it should be empty email empty password should be empty confirm password should be empty all right so let's see okay so now we have a submit button on sign in, sign up, sign in or sign up, sign in, sign up, and so when we have a form, we have on submit equal this dot on submit this on submit. And did on submit we also need to define this function this on submit equal this on submit does by this and so on submit even even does prevent default okay so we console log here uh, form is the submit are uh, if is a login show window cause is a login equal this state if submit as uh, if is a login we return login otherwise we get uh, show it now we see Submit. All right, this should be question mark. All right, my mistake. So clear that. It sign in, and now I enter something, and his enter. Okay, so it would be email. Right. So his sign in button. Now you can see the form is submitted as login and if I change the submit let's do a bit so now I want to have a name and his uh, something like okay so here's sign up now you can see in log control you can see form is submitted as register okay so look good now we need to add some even for the form i want to for the name now on chain equal this on touch field change on the field change and also we need set value equal so user value equals user does name so on take future 
on the field chain we need to define this function as well same thing for our submit we do this this does by this right and so we need to add function even okay even so we do this by let user equal this state. So why I use let? Because I'm going to modify this uh, user object. So we can do cars field name equal e dot target dot name. Cars field uh, value equal e dot target dot value. So now you can make a test. So simply, I would like to copy that. It's name and copy that. User email, right? And password, password, and confirm password. Confirm password. Okay. So now, uh, when I click sign form, and you can't type everything because now I'm typing from my computer on my keyboard. Now you see the keyboard um, to touch from my keyboard doesn't show up on set view. So because we this set the value. Because I just set a value. For example, if I set default value, default value solution name. Now let's see default value. Now you can change. All right, all right. Sorry, it should be sign up with change a name. Now default value, you can change it. But if you set the value, you can't change it. So you have to change the state. So we could do that by very simple. So uh, user dot field name equal field value. So and this does set state. All right, user user. Now you can see something. Now we can change the type field. Now, for example, I can type. I can type it. You can see this show up on my take field, and the same thing for sign up. All right? Cool. So I. So far, so good. So when it submit this, now we can see. Date data, and um, should be. User. Now we can see user. Okay, let's make test. Sign. Now I want to type my email and password. For example, one two three four. Now submit. Clear console log. Sign. Now you can see form is submitted as login data. Login with data equal name. Name is empty because we are search user only email and password. Email you can see email by email address password. And now change the sign up button. For example, done. All right, and confirm password one two three four. So I submit again. You can see form is submitted at register with data, the object, name, email, and password. Confirm password. Okay. So far, so good. Um, so in the next video, I will create a backend for REST service for to save a data. Okay, see you next video. Bye for now.